Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. Sweet daily vlog, so if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. Classic intro for a classic resort night. We are at the boardwalk tonight. Peter's got to do a long run. 10, 10 miles. miles, so it's five <laughs> laps around this. Or maybe like four-ish laps around this Crescent Lake. Um, so I'm just going to hang out, but we haven't just had a nice resort night. We're going to go check out the movie Under the Stars. At, at Beach Club. At Beach Club, yeah. Which is another classic. Snow White. Sarah's favorite. Yeah. So we'll go there. The movie already started 30 minutes ago. I'm gonna change there, get ready, and start running from there. Sarah's got a book. Yep. A relaxation it's time nice. at the park, mm -hmm. resort. Yeah, I wanna see if there's any like Christmas creeping in. Or a um, sneaky snack that she should get. Yeah, we'll see. If you listen carefully, there's a boat full of pirates screaming. Ahoy, ahoy. That was the most and, fun boat ever. And where's it going? <laughs> Sounded like more of a party boat than when we were on there for the birthday party. That's so fun. I did, we have seen it like come up before and it's like a, almost like a babysitting thing, right? Oh. Where like the kids go but the parents don't. There's projections on the dolphin. Oh my gosh. This is great. Also, there's lights over there coming from studios, and we're worried that the Christmas production started. We looked it up, and that's supposed to start till tomorrow, but sometimes Disney does soft opens. And we might have missed it by one. I'm run. going that way on my run, okay. and I, I'm gonna go inside the park if it's going on. Okay. I'm just joking. The movie at the beach club. It's, there's only one movie between the yacht and the beach club. Oh my gosh, a lot of the seats are taken. I don't know if I'll have a seat. Um, it's on this little beach right by Swim Along Bay. I got a spot right by the end. Peter just went to go and change for his run. And what I love so much about this right now is that people are laughing out loud at the doors like wash up scene and I feel like Snow White is so underrated and it's like the very first animated movie ever and it is so funny if you haven't watched it in a long time I hope that you'll watch it and just compare it to like one of like the newer movies it's just as entertaining just as fun and maybe even more funny or more like classic humor I know I love it so much I always feel like I have to defend myself when I say that Snow White is one of my very favorites. Snow White's my favorite princess. Um, but if you were just to go back and really watch it, I really think that you would agree. All right, going for my run. We're gonna put a link down below of a Chicago runner by the name of Kofuzi. He made a two and a half minute video called Impossible. Everybody should watch it, even if you're not a runner. We'll put the link down below. Go watch it for us, please. Please. I'm gonna go watch it before I start my run. I love you guys. You're the best. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. I'm just kidding. The vlog's not over. that that last clip was such a spoiler for the movie and I realized like when when is it okay to talk about the full plot of a movie like Snow White has obviously like been around since I think it's 1935 was the year that it came out 
but like what if somebody had never seen Snow White and I just ruined the whole end of the movie for them? Like, maybe you're just never supposed to talk about that. Okay, no signs of Christmas here yet. I think I'm gonna stroll over to the Yacht Club and see if there's anything there. Alrighty, no Christmas. I know that the gingerbread house at the Grand Floridian is well on its way up and that the gingerbread castle display at the Contemporary is also up. So I was just hoping that something would be up here. Um, or at least like garland or something, but I guess it is still early. Comment below if you know of any other resorts that have started. I really want to start hanging out at the resorts again. I feel like we've had a lot of people in town, which like, a, like calls for time in the actual parks. And so, especially with the time change and like the parks closing earlier, I feel like this time of year we always do go back to the resorts a lot. Um, but I just love relaxing or enjoying the live music or I was looking at some of the lounges to maybe go to or maybe like sit outside and do my reading. Um, Resorts at Disney are just the best. Like, if you ever are wondering, should I stay on property, should I not? Unless it's like the trip won't happen unless you stay off property, like, I would always say stay on property. Here he comes on the run. Two more. Two Two more. more. Awesome. Okay, so it looks like Peter has one more lap around left to do. Two more miles total. Epcot forever just finished, so there's just mass exodus from Epcot into the Epcot Resorts area. I started reading at the Yacht Club, but then decided it was a really awesome little like nook that I was able to read on um, a rocking chair, but. I am feeling just like being out on the boardwalk closer to the lake so I'm gonna go find a spot on the boardwalk and finish reading while Peter finishes up his running. Guess who's back, 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 back again. How many Peter's times did you back. see me? I saw you three times. I waved at you violently once <laughs> and you didn't see me i saw you when i filmed you and then you tapped me on the shoulder while i was reading yes so i got 10 miles in at a 903 pace so much faster than i expected to go because 903 is like literally just making two hours for a half marathon so i was right on pace i was an hour and 30 minutes if i would have gone three more miles at that place i would have done another well i would have done a two hour half marathon um it was, it was more huge, like the weather conditions were worse today in that run than on Sunday morning. It's like, it's not like crazy hot, but the humidity it's, really gets you. It's like, real I'm sticky. sticky, yeah. And it's yeah. weird how much things change in Florida. While running around the lake is much cooler than running in the by the river going to studios. It gets much stickier and the air becomes yeah. stagnant over there. Yeah. Look at this cool guy. It smells so delicious. We're gonna go get some water, relax. And get a drink at Abercadabra and go home. What? <laughs> no. We're gonna relax and go home. I'm really sweating. Just gonna sit here and relax a little. I want a pizza. You do? Big old pizza and breakfast burritos. I have a preposition. I mean, not fortunate, not just in general. So, you know how there's the monorail crawl? Yeah. I wanna do the Crescent Lake crawl. Yeah. Go to Cruise Cup Lounge. Go to Martha's Vineyard, go to Abacadabar, and Jelly Rolls. You've never been to Jelly Rolls. You've All never do, ever been to Jelly Rolls. Send my heart out. Oh but wouldn't my. that be nice? We could even do Sw Swan and Dolphin if we wanted to get crazy. <clears throat> Swan and Dolphin are in a different level. I love them because they're Marriott's. And they're like iconic. Like when I see them, I'm like, I'm at Disney. Because they're such big buildings. Let's do that soon. 
Yeah. I love the cruise cup. Oh, but there's Allen Compass Lounge too. There's so many lounges because then there's also the Bellevue Lounge. We used to do the Bellevue Lounge before it closes. Yeah, we'll have to think of like if we'll do like the main ones or if we'll do like. And like, are we getting drinks at all? Are we getting snacks at all? Are right. We doing just something because I don't. I wouldn't be surprised if like not all of them have a unique snack that we could eat. Right. We'll figure it out. It's going to be very This tight. is going to be great. What if we did that for your birthday? For my birthday. For your birthday. Can we do it before my birthday? That's before like birthday. how much time is there left before your birthday? Not much. My birthday's in like six weeks. Yeah. For my birthday. So calm and serene here. It's time for us to go, but uh, remember we had a cool little dance party here with some friends of ours? We've had so many moments under here. Like we met Sean and Caroline right here. And Dave. And Dave. And uh, look who we're bumping into. It's a brew car project. Lots Hang out with the Air Hearts. Mm -hmm. We've like spent a lot of time here on our own. I spent a lot of time, like I've sat here while you ran and like FaceTimed people before. Yeah, live streamed. Yeah. Casey and I said his daughter took a photo right there. We weren't there, but we, we saw it on right Twitter. Away, right around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. I love this little place. We yeah. should call it something. Uh, Sarah's Nook. Not mine. The boardwalk. Bomb shelter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let us know what you think. Yeah, it's at the boardwalk. What should we call this little cove? Today is the 7th, it's November 7th. We forgot to remember the 5th of November. I talked about it. Today's daily message is brought to you by Anonymous. And Anonymous has to say, be someone who makes you happy. Hear that, Sarah? Yeah. Eve, be someone who, who makes you happy, Eve. So go be a an apple farmer. There might be a lizard in our apartment. Eve has just been paranoid. I took her on a walk and she like was looking down this hallway like so paranoid and then I picked her up to walk away from it and she kept on looking back. She's just been paranoid ever since. We have like a big like almost like a, like a school door proper opener that's big and silver on the top of our door and we've never had that before in any of our apartments with Eve. So I feel like maybe she just discovered it. I don't know. She keeps on just like looking up and crawling. So hopefully she calms down. Yeah. Well. And now I'm paranoid about a lizard. <laughs> no, I think we're okay. okay. Uh, I think she, now she's realizing that there was like, wait, there was something up there I didn't see before and I have to look up everywhere I go because <laughs> yeah. I'm so small. Um, I promise I'll be in the vlog more tomorrow. <laughs> I just had to, I meant to wake up this morning and you guys know how that goes and I woke up and went to work so I had to run. I had my nice resort night that I've been I need a nice resort. Next right now. thing I want is a boat house on the water bar night. Sarah That's loves it. herself some bars. I do. We've been meaning to go to this bar in our neighborhood. Looks like it's straight from Lord of the Rings. The pub? Yeah. Oh. I run past it all the time, and every time I'm like. We were supposed to go to it. Two weekends? Three weekends ago? Yeah, something like that. Maybe we'll go this weekend. Maybe. Alrighty. It's good Friday, to be home. are you so happy? I am, but I might have to do work Saturday and Sunday. True, but at least you'd be at home. Yeah, on the couch. Yeah. Or in Disney. And it is good to be home, you know. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.